And I'd like to call Thomas Wittek to the stage now, please. Uh, Thomas is from Austria. He's the head of uh, the Ruminant Clinic in the Vet School in Vienna. And will speak to us today on the effects of antibiotic or non-antibiotic dry-off treatment on milk yield, somatic cell count, and frequency of clinical and subclinical mastitis. Thank you. Thank you, Finola, for the introduction. Good afternoon to you all. Um, I'd like to present the results of a study which we just recently finished, more or less. And this is all right. So just outline what I'm going to talk about this afternoon uh, to you. And we have heard a little bit about antibiotic trial-off treatment, and the reasons why we do this is, of course, to treat the pre-existing intramammary infections and to prevent uh, infections during dry period, and which should lead us into the early stage of the new lactation, and, of course, another aim of the treatment is to reduce somatic cell count during the dry period. But as already mentioned, uh, we are facing problems with resistance to the antimicrobial drugs we are using, and we have heard about uh, selective uh, use of antimicrobials for drying of cows already during the afternoon. However, um, the cutoffs to decide which cow would benefit from uh, antimicrobials and which cow does need uh, antimicrobial treatment, uh, they are often empirically found and we ha they are not really well defined. So this is a part of our study just first to evaluate the effect of antibiotic treatment, trying uh, of cows and compare this to cows in which no antibiotics have been used. And we defined the outcome parameters. This is, of course, what the farmers are interested in and the veterinarians as well. So the milk yield and the new lactation and the somatic cell count and then the frequency uh, of clinical and subclinical mastitis, at least in the early stage of the new lactation. And then, uh, finally, we try to uh, calculate uh, cutoffs uh, which can be used to decide if an antibiotic treatment is indicated or rather not. So the hypo hypothesis uh, here we talked to farmers and veterinarians in Austria and we knew that a uh, decent part of the farmers and veterinarians already using selective uh, dry cow treatment um, but on the other side uh, from literature and from our own experience, we expect that antibiotic dry cow treatment has an effect on the outcome parameters I've just introduced to you. And we were pretty sure, using a large data set, that we would be able to identify uh, cutoff values with a high enough, with a sufficient uh, diagnostic value uh, for decision making. So, in Austria, we have a nationwide uh, cattle health monitoring system, uh, which covers a very high percentage of the dairy cows. And in these uh, monitoring systems, all treatments, all diagnoses, and some other uh, informations are recorded. And so we have a pretty nice and data set. And of course, uh, there are information available about milk yield and, and somatic cell counts uh, from the uh, national milk recording agencies. We used years between 2013 and, and 2015, and we had uh, a subset of the information, but still very large. This was just, we picked about 100,000 um, data points or lactations uh, just for practical reasons, uh, randomly selected from all of them. So we reduced the cows to, to Simmental breed, uh, so just having a kind of uh, continuity, and we applied some other uh, prerequisites to introduce the cows into the study, as you can see 
here on, on this slide. After that, we checked the data for plausibility and for completeness. We did some descriptive uh, statistics, which I'm going to introduce to you in a, in a minute. And we did a, calculated some models, some mixed model analysis and, and classification tree uh, analysis to identify cutoffs and to uh, evaluate the influence of, of variables. So we ended up with over 88,000 uh, wallets. And here's the first surprise we got. Uh, it was just a little bit over 30% cows which are dried of using antibiotics. We couldn't believe this, and we used a different subset, but we got the same result. So this is just reflecting what we are doing in Australia. It was actually a very positive surprise uh, we got from it. Looking at the milk yield um, in the previous lactation, this is on the, uh, this side. You can see here there's a little bit uh, higher milk yield, but this is significantly uh, higher in the cows which has been, in which antibiotics has been used. And looking on the other side, the uh, uh, probability being dried of using antibiotics is increasing. Uh, with higher milk yield at the end of lactations. Uh, using, looking at somatic cell counts, uh, there was no difference caused by the wide uh, variability between uh, the somatic cell counts. But again, here, uh, the, the log scale, as you can see, but the probability uh, using antibiotics is increased or was increased uh, in cows with uh, having higher, higher uh, somatic cell counts. So we, as mentioned, we calculated a mixed model uh, analysis for the three outcome variables, uh, which are milk yield, somatic cell counts, and the frequency of mastitis. First, having a look uh, into milk yield, uh, we have already seen this, that in the lactation before dry off, uh, the cows with, uh, in which antibiotics ha have been used had a higher uh, milk yield in comparison to the non-antibiotic group. And this the same is, is the case in the following lactation. But the increments, they were not different uh, between the antibiotic and the non-antibiotic group. So which uh, variables had significant effects all the written in, in black, uh, they had a significant effect. And as you can see here, this was the largest effect. Uh, using antibiotics uh, made a difference of 95 uh, liters milk in the following lactation. This was the most prominent um, effect we could see. We did the same for somatic cell count. and. You've already seen this in the previous lactation, uh, but in the following lactation, um, there was no difference uh, in the previous lactation, but there was a significant difference uh, in the following lactation up to day 90 uh, in this lactation. So again, uh, antibiotic uh, treatment had an effect uh, of sorry, uh, of minus 1,500 cells per milliliter uh, in this somatic cell count. Finally, I uh, want to have a look uh, on mastitis uh, frequency. In the upper part of the graph, you can see uh, the cows which had no mastitis in the previous lactation. The lower part, uh, the cows which had uh, mastitis in the previous lactation. And you can see the differences. Uh, between the, the groups having no or having a lactation in the previous lactation. And you can see here uh, that there was a treatment effect um, of the antibiotic treatment, but there was still a, a higher uh, number, a higher frequency of mastitis in the antibiotic group, despite uh, the treatment. 
Finally, the cutoffs. And we did expect that we would be able to identify cutoffs, but um, unfortunately, we were not. From our uh, data we had, and you can see as a kind of example, uh, the receiver operation characteristic curves on this side, the area under the curve, and meaning the diagnostic value, was rather poor for every single parameter. So that, that's work in progress still, and we think it might be necessary or it might be possible, and we had heard something about other parameters which can be used, for instance, bacterial culture or um, milk amylate A, so that we might be able to use combinations of, of different parameters to come up with some um, cutoffs which can be used by, by practitioners or farmers. It might be, that's another thought we had, it might be possible uh, or necessary that the cutoffs must be defined on a herd base. But we, I can't tell you about this at the moment as we haven't done uh, the an analysis so far. To summarize uh, the study, so we could find the uh, effect of antibiotic treatment on milk yield and somatic cell count. Um, and we were kind of surprised how many farmers and veterinarians already use selective dry cow treatment uh, in Austria. Although uh, it seems that uh, most of them are looking just on the milk yield at the end of the um, lactation rather than on somatic cell count or history uh, of mastitis. And as already mentioned, uh, at the moment we can't suggest, we can't draw any uh, cutoffs uh, having uh, sufficiently high diagnostic value to, can, that they can be used uh, in daily practice. Uh, this, this is what I have, what I want to share with you. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Thank you. Any questions from the floor? If you'd like to come forward to a microphone, please. No? Okay. I think we'll, again, in the interest of time, we'll, we'll keep going. Thank you very much for the presentation. Thank you very much.